Uh-oh, they're here! You grab your things and head out to the jeeps that will take you to the evacuation center in the underground settlement. Your dog follows you, not knowing what's going on. You're outside, and you can see the giants miles away, walking towards you. There's so many of them, each as tall as the Statue of Liberty. But the leader is slightly taller than the Empire State Building. Each giant has a unique face, similar to a human's, but they're always showing their teeth and popping their eyes open. Everyone in the street is running towards the large jeeps. The vehicles are ready to take people away, but you're lagging way behind. Each giant step is more than a hundred feet, so you hurry as fast as you can. You've almost reached the jeeps when they take off without you. The town is deserted now, so you run toward the nearest house and hide in the basement. The leader of the giants lets out a roar that shakes the entire neighborhood. You run downstairs and scrub yourself with oil and detergent. These giants have an extremely acute sense of smell. You clutch your dog to your chest and wait it out. Your heart is racing and you're drenched in sweat. With each step the giants take, the ground shakes more and more. It means the giants are only several miles away. A few seconds later, they stop. You're still not moving, but you need to know what's happening. As soon as you get up, one of the giants rips the house open and exposes you to all of them. They're looking at you as if you're the last cookie on the counter that they all want to eat. You are frozen to the spot, trying not to make any sudden moves. But then your dog starts barking at them. You make a run for it, while one of the giants reaches down and tries to grab you. Others want to catch you too, but their hands collide, giving you a chance to make a break for it. You find a motorcycle on the road and drive away as fast as you can. The giants hear you and set off on a chase. It's a good thing these roads don't have any obstacles. Whoa! One of the giants jumps over you and lands at the side of the road. They're right behind you, and the one in the front has its mouth open, ready to swallow you whole. You drive off the road and head for the forest. The trees are only knee-high for these giants, but at least they won't be able to see you so easily. The forest is dark and not suited for a motorcycle to move around. You're zigzagging between the trees, but suddenly your bike collides with a large rock and you get tossed into the river along with your dog. The motorcycle explodes, which draws the attention of the giants, but you're already getting washed down the raging river. Not too long after, you manage to swim to the riverbank and catch a breath. It's now nighttime, and you quickly set up camp. You can see the giants in the distance, wandering around like zombies. Some seem to sleep standing up. Hidden in a small cave, you start a campfire and cook some yummy fish. It's quiet around. You're miles away from the giants and hidden inside the cave. And still, the tallest one spots you and lets out a shriek that shakes the entire forest. The rest of the giants wake up and start running towards you. You quickly put out the fire and dash toward the densest part of the forest. Luckily, the giants are far enough for you to find an abandoned shack. There you see a motor scooter. And miraculously, it works. You start it up and swoosh away. You drive back to the main road, but the giants spot you and start chasing you. Your dog, meanwhile, is doing its job, barking at the monsters to scare them away. But it's definitely not working. In front of you, there's a tunnel through the mountains. It leads to another city. The giants stomp around and destroy everything in their path. Their glaring eyes shine like headlights in the dark. You manage to drive all the way through the dark tunnel. In front of you, there are cars crushed and thrown around. You find an overturned truck with some food and stock up. You can hear the giants behind your back trying to squeeze through the tunnel. Suddenly, a hand reaches out and tries to snatch you. But instead, it grabs a car. You quickly get back to your scooter, your dog under your arm, and drive to the end of the tunnel. The giants are still trying to break through the mountain. The sun rises as you keep driving. You're all alone in this land. Everyone else has already left the country. You stop by some gas stations on your way to refuel. You sleep in abandoned roadside motels. It's been two weeks since you last saw a giant. 
but you prefer to remain low-key. As you drive across the country, you spot some peaceful giants roaming around. You stop for a bit to admire the scene, and it turns out to be a mistake. The giants who were chasing you before appear out of nowhere. You speed away, but they start running on all fours, galloping like gazelles. They're gaining on you. You reach a large lake and drive along its shore. But an aqua giant appears from the water and attempts to grab you. You abruptly change direction and hide in the woods where the creature can't reach you. But the other giants are still on the hunt. You drive until you see a group of people walking together. The giants are behind them. But suddenly, they stop and run away. You're confused at first, but then you see that the people are holding huge loudspeakers. They're emitting high-frequency sounds. Those must sound repelling to the giants. You introduce yourself to the nomads. They refuse to be evacuated. Now, it's never safe to stay in one place, so they're constantly on the move. You join this group of people. They tell you the entire story. A month ago, all the major continents in the world suddenly had giants washed up ashore. After waking up, the human-like creatures started destroying everything in their path. Cities, towns, cars, you name it. These creatures can live in different climates, from the freezing temperatures of the north to the soaring heat of deserts. It seems their only weakness is high-pitched noises that only last for a while. Earth now belongs to them, and there's nothing that can be done to stop the giants. Besides having an enhanced sense of smell, their vision and hearing are also extremely powerful. That's how they were able to spot you, even though you seem to be the size of an ant to them. The people tell you that the evacuation plan didn't work out. The giants could feel vibrations even underground. The only chance to survive and live peacefully is to sail to a small island far away from the mainland. It's nighttime again. The nomads keep moving instead of making a camp. The night is actually the best time to travel, since that's when most of the giants sleep. You've been warned about the most important thing. Being quiet is crucial. You have to ditch your scooter because you arrive at the forest of giants. That's where dozens of giants are sleeping, standing up in an empty field. Anything that touches them will wake them up, not to mention any sound they'll hear. The nomads organize themselves and begin maneuvering around the giants, whose feet are the size of a large bus. You're tiptoeing around them, but the feet are everywhere. You manage to get past the giants, but someone in the back accidentally brushes against one of them. The giant is startled awake. This alerts the others. They wake up in a frenzy and start rampaging around. You and the rest of the people sneak away toward the coast without the giants seeing you, yet. Over there, there's a large ship waiting for everyone to board it. Once everyone's ready, the ship starts its journey. The giants don't spot the ship until it's far away from the shore. But the ocean isn't going to stop them. They start swimming as fast as they can, causing massive waves. But these waves just push your ship further away from the giants. But as soon as they get close enough, the people on the ship switch on the loudspeakers. The high-pitched sound scares the giants away. This allows the ship to sail to a deserted island, far, far away from the danger.